and very helpless. And this is why this weekend challenge was made. A brother wants to write a new story for his family. I'm feeling some form too. You've looked home, nothing. You've looked at the future, nothing. And you are at the verge of giving up. You are ejected, rejected, and even dejected. Thank you, Pastor Sus Peter, for organizing for this weekend challenge. A brother is getting his destiny back now. There is someone getting their future here now. It must come back. The Bible says, as they were going, as they were going, God, as these guys were going, the Bible says, God, God. One thing I love with God, there is just a place when God takes over. Mm. There always comes a point when God takes over. There always comes a season when God says, I have heard what your parents have said, but I'm not taking over. There comes a time when God says, I have heard Peter say you are good for nothing, but now I'm, I'm taking, taking over. over. There comes a time when God says, I will not care what your relatives are saying, right now, I am taking over. The Bible says, as they were going, God. Brothers, there's a God who picks people. Oh, yes. There's a God who holds people's hands. Mm -hmm. I believe in a God who helps men. He can help you perform. He can help you perform. He can push you from a B to a B. He can push you from a B to an A. There is a God who takes off. I believe in a God who changes narratives. I believe in a God who can pick someone from grass and rise with to grace. And you know what? Before we break, God wants to pick someone. Ah, yes. You've cried enough. God wants to pick you up. He wants to pick you up. God spoke to me early this year and he told me, write on people's destinies. I came with a pen. I want to write on your destiny. When they say they hopeless, I want to write hope in that destiny. They say sorrow, I want to write joy in that destiny. They say useless, I want to speak you relevant over that story. They say you are a failure, I want to write for you success in the name of Jesus. They say you are going nowhere, I want to speak you are going somewhere in the name of Jesus. The presence of God in this world. God wants. The Bible says when they made a step, God magnified it. Mm. God magnified their steps. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You may look like someone who is a failure, but we are going somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we are going somewhere. Maybe you've never performed, but I'm telling you, you are not going to die in the same environment. We are going somewhere. When they made a step, God magnified it. And then the Bible says, when they arrived, their feet was like horses and chariots. I'm seeing some weakling from one here. You joined here because all options were dumped off. But God wants to make your weakness like that of chariots. Your speed is going to look like that of horses. Because God, it is not a man business. It's a God business. It's a God agenda. It's a God affair. It's a God's program. It's a God's deal. Thank you, Spirit of God. I feel God here. He's called Father to the fatherless. He's watching over you. His interest. He wants to pick you up and walk you through. God saved me at 10 years. 
I did not know many things. I didn't even know where he wanted to take me to. If I look back at the things that I've seen him do in my life, now I can tell you beyond any reasonable doubt, God wants to hire someone here so that he can work with. Yes. He wants to work with you. The Bible says that the leprous men fed an entire nation. I can give you so many testimonies of people who thought it was not going to work. This video is an evidence. When he finished form four, there was no money for campus. The father tried his best. Oh, the only fisherman. And took him to PC University. What I was going to preach some in Yamira and I picked him at PC and we were going was scotting me to go preach there. And I preached. When I was down, what I preached touched him. And he came and said, sir, I don't know where things are going to come from. I'm being afraid that I'm going to drop from school because there is nothing home. One day I called him and told me, I'm at home. Nina Lima Lima too. <laughs> Trying to see if next semester I can find something. And I told Gideon, you received God. He has a tendency. He's a master in magnifying people's steps. This guy, I'm not talking about someone elsewhere. This guy has his fee now being paid in the university. Back accommodation and pocket money. What God cannot do does uh -huh. not exist. In this service now, God is looking for a man who is saying, I am available. Walk with me. Walk with me. Oh, your head don't think you're going to die there brother you're not dying there God will do something I am seeing God in this meeting I am seeing God in this meeting I already see God in this meeting some of you will remember this evening you will remember this is the day when the story just bow your head where you are. Just bow your head. I don't know what you want God to do. One thing I know, He wants someone to partner with. He wants someone He can partner with. With that head bowed like that, I want you to tell God, partner with me. I am available. Oh God. I am available. I'm willing. I'm ready. Partner with me. Yes. Not matter the extent. I can see some brothers here. You are tired with that condition. You are tired with that circumstance. You are tired with that situation. And you are saying, Man of God, I want God. I want to partner with God. I am tired. I am tired of the state in my family. I want God to partner with me right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I can see God magnifying somebody's steps. I can see God changing the story and the narratives of somebody's life over here. If you are there and you are saying, man of God, I want to partner with God. Run here very fast. Run, I'm saying run, run. We want to take a moment of seriousness. After Kukucha Fuga Macha in one economy, we need you. And be a one partner with me. Partner with me. Come running, come running. There is enough grace. 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 Yes, come running, come running, come running. There is enough space for everybody. Rakata labo sekete land. Irako sekete poria kamande. Rako sekete le basaya. You are the agent of change. You are the agent of change, brother. I want you to seriously talk to God. 
seriously talk to God. Everybody open your mouth boy and tell the Lord I am the one. Tell the Lord I am the one. Inform him that I want you to partner with me. I want you to partner with me. Remind God that you are available. Remind God that you are ready. Remind God that you are the one. Register your presence. Register your presence. The Bible says, and the time shall come that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so right now, brother, talk to God, talk to God. Speak to him, speak to him. Speak to God, he's listening. He's hearing you out. Don't struggle with those tears. Tears are also prayers. They reach out to God when we cannot talk. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see destinies that are being restored. I see futures that are being restored. Oh my God. Servants of God, I want us to move in here and just lay our hands on these brothers. Randomly because something is happening. Servants of God, all the missionaries who came over here. I want us to move in and lay our hands by faith. Yes, by faith. I rise up against the spirit of retrogression. I rise up against the spirit of retardation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hereby speak to your life. I hereby speak to your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Every work of the devil is destroyed. Every work of the devil I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakata la bo seketeli mandele kazai. Inda la bo seketeli akata. Rakole ba seketela. You are receiving your joy back. You are receiving your peace back. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yes. In the name of Jesus. God is moving in here. God is moving in here. God is moving in here. God is ready at work. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands, somebody. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, I release all the power of the Lord. I release all the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes, 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 yes,